Ah, there we go. That's everything. I hope. G'day guys, holy crap. It's here, it's upon us. We're leaving tomorrow. So this is a quick video to show what I'm packing, just, just real quick. I'm gonna like try to smash this out as fast as I can. By the time you watch this video, we will actually be at Cameron's Corner, which is hectic. So this is Tuesday today, it'll be Wednesday, you'll see this on Sunday. We'll be camping out at Cameron's Corner, no reception, in the middle of the damn desert. Um, just wigging balls, that's the part that I'm like super, super nervous about, just because, and we're in the middle of nowhere. As expected, um, things haven't gone to plan, like, which is which is fine. But the biggest thing that I'm sort of really peeved about right now is that um, our satellite phone hasn't arrived. It's literally like 11:15 in the morning, the day before we leave. It hasn't arrived, which is sort of wigging me out, just because you know if something bad happens, that was the that was our you know emergency ticket out of there, um, and it's we don't have it. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's going to arrive in time. I'm not sure what's happening with it sort of sucks, it's literally in Sydney. I had the Bauble Bee backpack arrive from Sweden in a week and a half, and it's it beat, it beat this, and this is literally just like 20 minutes down my road, which I can't pick up for some reason. Ah, oh, man, anyway, yeah, excited, nervous, nervous, uh, I think just because this is important to me. I feel like this is, this is a thing, and um, I'd like to come home safe. I'd like to come home, <laughs> full stop. But I think I'm a, I'm a sensible, I'm a sensible rider anyway. Like, I'm pretty sensible. <laughs> I'm pretty sensible. <laughs> I will be careful though. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be so chilled out. I'm gonna be chilling. No, no, no crazy, no crazy shenanigs. Maybe a couple, but no, nothing crazy, crazy. Anyway, should we? Uh, should we get into this? And then we'll go down the garage and I'll show you the the bike setup and what I've done since I've seen you guys last. Um, we've done a bit more, so it's, it's pretty cool. It's like it's there. It's there. Uh, all right, let's do this. Okay, so first we have the Foresight helmet. If you haven't seen the unboxing of that, I did that last week. Go check it out. You're missing out on a lot if you haven't seen it. That's our barbecue with our gas burner. Got spare tubes. I've got another one in the bag. That's my mat. That's my tent. Sleeping bag. Food. Dry food. Insect repellent. Multi-tool knife and a Swiss Army knife. My brand new boots. I haven't even had a chance to break these in. Maybe I should right now there they are these things are sick so they're the former boulder um you know boys shout out to rider collective nathan and nico helped me out with these bad boys um so stoked so i'm breaking them in literally like i've worn them maybe like for like half an hour so yeah they're gonna they're gonna do me well moving on um got my drone drone is coming with us uh gorilla pod battery packs i've got like two or three of those uh zoom h4 recorder to record that sweet exhaust sound GoPros, can never have too many. Batteries, batteries, head torch. This is my new M50 camera that I'll be taking, so I'm not taking like any of these lenses or anything like that. One, weight, two, size, three, price. Stuff for losing any of those. This thing is the smallest thing that'll go straight into the um, tank bag, and it's a mad little vlogging camera. Flip that screen, what a cool little thing. So that's like 900 bucks or something, or a thousand bucks. So that's way better than taking all the other gear. Anyway, moving on. Moto Skivvies, I spoke about that in an um, episode a couple of weeks ago. Mac, man, that battery in this just died yesterday. Like, are you serious? Um, so I had to pull the battery out and now it just runs off power supply. So no camping editing. It's just going to be all all done at the, at the thing or wait till I get home. I think I'll do that. <laughs> um, forks and spoons and stuff, bowls are all downstairs. Uh, that's my sleeping bag liner just in case it gets a little bit nippy because this thing's rated at 10 degrees. A coffee mug supplied by Grounded Drops. These things are insane. Wait till you see what I've got in this. Uh, Richard from Grounded Drops, thank you so much for sending them out. So, so, so stoked. A light down, feather down, and the camel pack. So yeah, and then obviously like I've, I've got so much other stuff. Taking extra shoes. Um, I've got my rain pants and, I've got my rain pants and rain jacket sorted. Uh, the rain pants are just some, um, I don't know, like 50 bucks. Sleepovers, chuck them straight on. Um, and the jacket is the Akinmoto, we've seen it before, the Alpha 2.0, so it's a mad rain jacket. Weather resistant, wind resistant. For, oh, my spare tires. Thank you, Pirelli. Let's kind of get back home. Um, for gear, I'll be taking the Ugly Bros uh, cargo pants and I'll be taking a set of the fuel pants as well. So I'll take two, I'll 
take two just in case, you know, something bad happens. I'll be taking the fuel jacket as well. It's all armored up. It's all pretty damn sturdy. This stuff is so sturdy. What else? I've also got a heated liner as well, a heated jacket, just in, like, just in case. We're seeing temperatures like soaring at like 46 degrees, especially yesterday. Yesterday was warm, but 46 degrees out west. It's gonna be so hot. So obviously we're taking heaps of water. I'll take you down and we'll check out the bike soon. Um, oh, what else? Oh, hang on. So you've seen all the Osar dry pack stuff. So that's gonna be right on top. That'll have all the rain gear and everything in it. Really easy to access. Here's the Bauble Bee backpack. I just switched it from the gray to the orange. Uh, it's a bit more high viz. That's gonna be taking all the all the electronic stuff, all the stuff that's super valuable. Very hard, very sturdy, very nice. This is a bag for just camping gear. And then this is the big boy Osa dry pack. Um, and that'll be, you know, camping and uh, clothes and stuff like that. So they're the main, they're the main bags. I've got another dry pack from Osa. Thank you again. Osa to these guys, man, these guys are so the packs are so sick. Check them out. Links are all in the description. They sent me another one out for the for the saddlebag, so I still need to mount that up and put stuff in it. So we'll suss it out. And other than all that, we have um, we have like our tire repair kit. We have got a medi kit. We've got what else? We've like we've got heaps of food and everything like that. Yeah, and tools. I've got a mad tool roll from Port and Hyde. I'll show you. It's already mounted onto the bike. Thank you so much, Port and Hyde. It's so awesome. It's full on custom. Motorfuel's embroidered logo on the inside. Insane. Um, crap. I think I think that's it from up here. Let's go downstairs. Zing. There she is. Okay, so we got the fuel tank strapped on the back, and the bags will be all here and stuff. Number plate's been extended, harness has been extended. Uh, moving along the sprocket. So now I've upgraded the pitch of the chain to a 525, a bit more beefy from the 520. This gave us more sizing options. So this is from the Bobber Black, and they fit straight on the street scrambler, which is awesome. 520 didn't give us many options, especially with the Oh, with either a sprocket actually, you couldn't find anything. So the rear I've gone 37 teeth and the front is still um, your 17. So it's just extended that little bit. It just sort of takes the edge off the revs. Um, it's it's nothing crazy. It's just more, you know, the, the top end is just, um, it's just cut down a little bit, which is nice. I like that. Uh, so moving on, we've got the bash plate has been extended. So before, can I look under there? Ugh, shiza. Yeah, so before I only come up to here, we're just like, man, got to extend this thing so it's all solid now. Spewing at the service stand, there were actually none in Australia. What the heck, hey? Crazy. Um, moving forward, we've got the Steady lights. So Steady hooked us up with these awesome lights. Upgraded the, the front as well, so how tough does that look? It actually looks incredible. All right, we'll chuck these on for you. Man, it's like what an improvement, man. They're bright as... Um, and I've got the I've got the covers on these ones just because they're so ridiculously bright. Uh, I will take them off there. We're not planning on doing any night riding. We're steering clear of sunset as well because of all the kangaroos and everything that just jump out, man. It goes crazy. So we're planning to be everywhere at around I don't know, like around five o'clock ish, four thirty, five o'clock. Um, what else? The seat literally just came back from the moto trimmers like three hours ago. How crazy is that? Reason? We've got the Louis Moto's gel insert in here full-on comfort under this bad boy now so you can feel it it's like it feels all like gooey and stuff thank you so much louis moto you guys are legends you guys rock man oh bark busters everything the windshield everything works nicely this actually works fantastic so stoked that came in in time um but man crazy thank you so much to our sponsors that have helped us along the way um it's gonna be like i just can't believe we're actually doing this <laughs> it's nuts oh yeah and that's the other you Here's the other dry bag, the Osar dry bag. Oh, and the tool roll. That's in the dark there. Like I said, guys, this is all rough. <laughs> there we go. Dong. How sick is that? I'll show you guys what's in it when we're on the road, baby. Um, yeah. Wow. It's happening. We're doing this. It's happening tomorrow. Wow. Uh, so no YouTube vid next week. Um, but you can keep up to date with everything that we're doing through or via my Instagram stories So make sure you follow me uh, Make sure you follow Nick as well And I'm gonna tag all the people all the brands that have helped us get this far so far uh, In the description below. So if you're interested in any of them, please hit them up. They'll be so happy to hear from you um, Man, I can't believe it's here Far out. I am just like wow. I still have so much to do
Uh, so I've got to get to it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, man, we're, I reckon we're just, we're just full on just camping out in the middle of nowhere right now. <laughs> the craziest thing, even just thinking about that just makes me feel a bit funny. <laughs> uh, it's going to be sick. Okay, guys, um, that's it. That's it. That's it. Crap. Hit like and please subscribe to the channel if you want to see what the hell ends up happening here. <laughs> Crap, man. Peace, legends. It's full on Fast and Furious vibes there. How cool. <laughs> I actually dig it. That's, that's my vibe. I like it.